Apologies, I had to change the battery there. Uh, listen, rough start to the, to the USC run, but now things are all pointed in the right direction. I mean, how much better does it feel now? Yeah, yeah, it feels, uh, feels like I'm home now. So it was a bit of a shaky start, but got the feet under us and we're, we're ready to keep the momentum going. I was going to ask, I mean, is there any key to, like, you know, the difference between the start now, like getting comfortable, or is it just, I mean, you're fighting guys at the highest level, things are going to happen? A, a bit of both, exactly. It's fighting the guys at the highest level. Um, like, I've, I've definitely uh, felt the growth, though, since, since that fight, and just being more comfortable in there. Uh, getting those, like, first couple of UFC sort of jitters and, and fights out the way, um, Definitely, it just feels like a, like a more comfortable, uh, and I'm here to stay. Very nice. Okay, so you got the matchup with Jalen. I guess, what were the thoughts? I mean, did, had, you, had you been following him? Was it a guy you thought maybe you could get paired up with? What, what were your thoughts? Yeah, definitely thought we were going to get matched up. Um, seeing as we were matched up for uh, UFC Auckland, that didn't go ahead. Um, then I, it's come full circle two years later, and I, I knew that they'd won that matchup. Um, it's a matchup that excites me. Jalen's like he's he's tough man. He he brings different problems to the table. I've I've never fought someone um quite as tall as him and as long. So that's going to be uh, a, a different challenge that I'm looking forward to. Um, I've, I've been working a lot of different stuff, uh, different uh different game planning, and we'll we'll see what happens Saturday. I was going to say because of his unique style and frame and thing. I mean, can you find somebody that's like him to train with, or can you not really simulate it exactly? Um, it, it's hard to get a guy like Jalen, but I did actually. I was fortunate enough to have a couple of tall uh, training partners for the camp. Um, shout out just down at uh, Freestyle MMA there. Um, and obviously the biggest thing I took from this camp was working with uh, Alex Volkanovski. He has to get in at pretty much everyone he fights. He's taller than him. So he's helped me so much this camp, and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out some, some new stuff. It's awesome. I, th- I believe it'd be the first time back in front of a crowd since the debut, right? I mean, so does that, obviously that was an epic fight. I mean, is there something about fighting in a crowd like that that, that does something special for you? Oh, mate, the, the energy that I take from the crowd is just unbelievable. I, I'll, be, I'll be carrying that right into the fight and putting it on his chin. I like it. Last thing for me, I guess, what kind of fight do you think we see here? Is this going to be a brawling type, you know, type back and forth thing? Or are you out there trying to be technical? What, what kind of fight do we see? Um, I'm looking at sort of Get my feet under me first. Like, Jalen's a dangerous opponent. You can't rush with a guy like him. Um, so we'll find our feet, and then I'm, I'm sure the war's going to come. And I, I think it's going to come down to who wants it more, to be honest. Jamie, right here. Uh, pretty much until his last two wins, Jalen had been winning all of – actually, he, he was. He was winning all of his fights by TKO or KO until – his last two were submissions. Do you think they were just overlooking his skill set on the ground or that Jalen is just that talented and can catch people off guard? Um, he's, he's talented, man. He's, he's got a, a full uh, skill set. I believe that his submissions came from, from the strikes, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they dropped first. He, he overwhelmed them with the strikes and then finished on the ground. So they were already... I think they were sort of already hurt and, and almost looking for a way out. But, um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's another thing that, that he brings that uh, we're, we're ready for. That's, that's what we've been getting ready for all camp, just getting every, every part of the game uh, sort of covered. And can I ask you for your prediction of the main event between Jorge and Colby Covington? Big, big main event for uh, your card. I think Jorge by decision. They're, they're, they're both so tough, man. They're, they're both so tough. They're going to want it that bad. When, you, when you've got a, a fight like that, neither Gua is going to wilt. You know what I mean? So I, th- I think that it's going to be a war. Um, we've obviously seen them both have that in them. So it's, it's going to be a, a fucking cracker fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to it.